guys, it's Mastraff here, and welcome back to another Wheel of Let's Plays. Yes, the uh, 2024 Mastraff Gaming Wheel of Let's Plays. So, for new watchers who've never seen a Wheel of Let's Plays video before, um, essentially, I do my recordings very much in advance, to the point that I'm pretty much at December of next year when it comes to recording. So, I've pretty much sorted out the entire year when it comes to scheduling. So, with that out of the way, I can now show you guys pretty much what is going to be Let's Played and uploaded next year on this channel. As always, card is subject to change. Uh, when it comes to scheduling, there could very well be a case where uh, a game doesn't get played in that year. Maybe a new game gets played in that year instead. Who knows? But here's essentially the rough draft of what is going to be Let's Played next year. Um, the majority of these will be let, uh, Let's Played next year, but there are some which it may be very early uh, the year after. So, you know, that's where the uh, card subject changes. But anyway, we have 17 games here, so let's go through the list of all the games that will be played in 2024. Card subject to change. All right, and we kick off with... Well, we're kicking off with one that I'm currently playing through at the moment. Uh, Risk Global Domination. Um, a game which is based off of the uh, board game Risk. You have your armies and then... Well, your troops. And then you've got to try and conquer the world with them. Uh, alongside taking other territories from other players. Uh, to essentially become the ruler of the world. In this... Uh, very influential um, strategy board game. And the next game is... Okay! VVV VVV. Well, uh, yeah, this uh, is an old Flash game from 2010, um, which is essentially a platformer, which is surprisingly difficult in certain areas. You play as Captain Viridian as your ship and your crewmates have disappeared into a weird dimension. Unfortunately, the captain is not allowed to jump, but can change gravity. And essentially your role is trying to rescue your fellow team members, your fellow crew members, but also collecting shiny trinkets, because, you know, we want to 100% the game, I guess. Even though some of them are a ball ache to try and get. And the next game is... Well, here's one that I'm looking forward to um, uploading. I think it's going to be quite fun. Uh, made by Telltale Games, Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures. So, yes, playing as the uh, very well-known British plasticine models, or claymation models, Wallace and Gromit. Going through four separate episodes, four separate games, four separate stories made by Telltale Games. Um, of Wallace and Gromit trying to take out and sort bees. Um, a potential assault on their beach cruise, I guess, which is really just their basement. A golf tournament or some sort of golf game uh, involved in that as well. And a horrible, horrible bastard that doesn't like dogs very much and wants to, you know, make money off it pretty much from apparently being a charity guy, which he's not. But yeah, go around with the inventor Wallace and his dog Gromit. Um, in this essentially point-and-click adventure game. Alright, and the next game is... Alright, Serious Sam Double D XXL. Yes, uh, Serious Sam. It's, um, it's essentially a game, um, usually they're 3D games of the Serious Sam games, uh, where you go around shooting the crap out of everything. Uh, but this game, it's Double D. It's 2D. It's a 2D side-scrolling shooter. Uh, shoot 'em up which... You know, I do quite enjoy it. It's actually my first game of the Serious Sam series, and there's a fair few of them uh, to do. Most of them are 3D and first person, so maybe I'll get to them at some point. Who knows? But, yeah, Serious Sam Double D XXL going through history and shooting everything. That's the plan. Oh, and stacking guns. Yeah, you can stack, like, eight different guns. <laughs> you know, how many more guns do you want? Sam Stone says yes. Alright, next game. Alright, here's a fun one. Rock of Ages! Uh, a game with an animation style 
not gameplay style, but animation style very similar to uh, old Monty Python animations. But Rock of Ages, you play as Sisyphus, who was essentially eternally damned to rolling up a boulder up a hill for eternity after cheating death twice. But however, he is going to use that boulder to his advantage, smash through everything, including mythological figures, mythological creatures, and historical uh, figures to try and get back at who has stopped him in the first place in Hades. One of three games, Rock of Ages. May do the other two at some point. Card Apocalypse! School has gone insane. Card Apocalypse, made by the same guys who made um, who made one of my favorite PC games of all time, the Guild of Dungeoneering. Um, yeah, Card Apocalypse is a trading style, uh, a trading card game um, with a story around a school where the card game is banned and then stays banned, but then your champions are essentially turning up in real life trying to enslave humanity, and it is up to the one and only Jess Carter and her cards to save a school and humanity. I don't know why she'd want to save the school. She's a child. She probably wouldn't want to save the school. We know what we were all like when we were younger. We, didn't, we wouldn't care if it went to the dogs, personally. But, yeah. Quite a fun uh, card game, very similar to sort of um, Hearthstone and Magic when it comes to uh, its styles. But interesting differences though with those is that you can edit. You can edit cards in this game. You can get stickers, put things on cards, make them better. Even names. Very nice. And it's made by Gambrin Usen vs Evil who made Guild of Dungeoneer and I love that game. Right, well here's an obvious one that was going to happen. Pokemon Scarlet. Um, yeah, obviously at the time of this recording, the 1st of November 2023, um, there's only been one of the two DLCs released, uh, which is the Teal Mask. I've currently done Pokemon Scarlet, the main game, and the Teal Mask, and I'll obviously um, be also doing the Indigo Disc when it comes out. This is the game that is preventing me really from, uh, from scheduling quite a lot of these Let's Plays, um, because, yeah, the... Indigo Disc hasn't been released as of yet, so until that does and I've completed it, I won't know when the schedules will be. So yeah, this is the outlier that's preventing all the scheduling from happening so far. But yeah, it's Generation 9. We go around the Paldea region, or as I call it in the actual main series, the Paldea region. At least until the Teal Mask, where I found out exactly what it was. Um, yeah, essentially an open world environment, going around... Um, beating Titan Pokemon, collecting the gym badges, and stopping the new team, Team Star, uh, as you go around to try and become the greatest in the Paldea region. And then, entering Area Zero, the great crater of Paldea, of Paldea, with some very interesting looking Pokemon. Either ancient or very, very futuristic, but that's... Unfortunately, the futuristic ones are Pokemon Violet, unfortunately. So, we're going to get the old buggers instead. Alright, another another sort of quite nice PC game called Crunch. It's quite a short game. Um, essentially, you are a little orb um, going around this scientific facility that wants to kill you. So, use your orb and try and escape the horrible levels and traps. Pretty much think of it as Super Meat Boy without jumping and not as difficult. Still difficult in parts, but not as difficult as Super Meat Boy. But essentially think of Super Meat Boy, but you float. That's pretty much a good thing when it comes to that. Alright, next game. Alright, Shotgun King, the final checkmate. Um, yeah, you play as a... Uh, you play as the White King. Um, who... Well, obviously, it's based off chess, of course. Uh, but instead of trying to slowly strategize and beat pieces um, and take pieces, instead, he's got a bloody gun. He's just, he's just going to shoot the pieces instead. Get through all the levels in this roguelike, and yeah, you complete the game with the uh, with the White King. Or is it the Black King? It's one of those two, I can't remember. That was a long one ago. Alright, speaking of board games, we've got another one here. The Game of Life. Yes, either start out with no money, or start out with some money, but no job. See if you can prevent yourself from going bankrupt or being in debt by the time you get to retirement. 
Yes, changing jobs, getting married, having children, all goes to points at the end of the game. And it's not the first person to make it to retirement, it's the one who's had the most fulfilling life. And gotten the most money, because let's be honest, that's the most important thing in life, isn't it? It's not happiness, it's the, it's the, it's the green. It's the green, it's the cash, that's what it is. Definitely. Alright. I'm finally doing this one, folks. Plants vs. Zombies 2. Um, yeah, so I did the first Plants vs. Zombies game. God, it must have been about six years ago at this point. Six, seven years ago. And I always thought, would I actually let's play Plants vs. Zombies 2? I tried about four years ago, and the pay-to-win aspect of it, I really didn't like. But, I have come back to it now, and actually the pay-to-win aspect is not that bad. I was actually able to complete this game in a decent amount of time without having to pay a single cent, which is great. Penny, sorry, I'm English, I forgot. But yes, Plants vs. Zombies 2, Dick Crazy Dave has a taco! And he liked it so much that he's gone back in time, I don't know how he made a time machine, which is a camper van called Penny, but yeah, he made a, he made a time machine. So we're going to go back in time to try and find this taco. Unfortunately, we, we end up in ancient Egypt. We've got a long way to go before we can get that taco again. And of course, Edgar Zombos, the boss from the first game, has followed us into the time rift. And is wanting, as always, brains. Alright. We've got... Yeah, we've got six left. Bubble Ghost! Alright, so... Literally one video let's play. This is a very uh, very short game on the uh, Nintendo Game Boy back in the day um, And I think it's been shown <laughs> in like two different montages I think it might it might have been shown in last year's montage and this year's uh, But yeah, this is one of the games where I just couldn't find a place for it in scheduling so uh, but I have now But yes, you are in a castle. You're a ghost and you want to try and blow this bubble to the ends of the levels. It's as simple as that, this game. It's as simple as that, but watch out. If the bubble hits anything, it's got physics. If the bubble hits anything, it will burst. Oh, lovely. Very short game though. You could probably get it done in about 15, 20 minutes if you're good. All right. Next year, we're finishing off the Robot Wars uh, video game series. So I've already done two of the games. Um, I did Advanced Destruction, and I did Arenas of Destruction. There are two more left. This is one of them, Robot Wars Extreme Destruction. To a lot of people, this is essentially the magnum opus of the Robot Wars um, video game series, where there are four games in total. Um, did you like Arenas of Destruction? Well, instead, you can have the combat robots be turned up to 11 and go nuts all the time. In, essentially, it rears a destruction on steroids. It's chaos, pretty much, as a game. It is chaos, the game. And the next game is, well, that makes sense, because this will be coming out right after the first of the Robot Wars games, and probably the worst. Robot Wars Metal Mayhem for the Game Boy Color. Uh, yeah, this game's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. They've massacred my boy Deator in it, unfortunately. But yeah, pretty much, it's like Advanced Destruction, only worse. And Advanced Destruction was one of the first ever Let's Plays I did. So, you know, now we get to the first Robot Wars game that was ever released. Um, and yeah, it's not good. Really isn't. It's bad. Can't wait to show it off because it's going to be one of those terrible games. It's going to be one of those terrible games. All right, what, three left? Okay, finally we get to this. The first game that will be, uh, the first Let's Play that will be released in 2024, Mario Kart DS, for the Nintendo DS, of course. Yes, we go around all the CCs and trying to win all the trophies, all the cups, um, with all the characters. I've been able to split it quite well where we do win all the trophies, but also I show off all the characters as well. Which is, you know, really nice because the, the different characters play differently. Some of them are, you can just smash into opponents because they're very heavy. Um, some of them are just quick, speedy guys that you really do not want to get hit by anything. Uh, by any of the drivers. 
Uh, some of them are not very good at turning, some of them are, and yeah, this will be essentially on the 1st of January 2024. This will be the first Let's Play of 2024. The first part will be released on January the 1st. Nice to come back to Mario Kart after I did Double Dash a long time ago. Alright! Luck be a landlord! Yes, a PC game which is essentially based off of a, um, a fruit machine, essentially, a form of gambling. Uh, where you are going to try and essentially get money. You need to get money because your landlord is a stingy prick. And yeah, he wants payment. But if you go through enough times of paying your landlord, maybe you can get your revenge on the landlord. In this roguelike game where essentially you collect different items and different synergies can happen with different items. So it's all about which synergies work best for your current... Um, your current run, essentially, or maybe even your current play style. You never know on that. And in this game, we go through essentially all of the Ascension modes. There's like tw 20 floors in the game. We go through every single one of them in this Let's Play. And last but not least... Well, this makes sense, to be honest. Yesterday was Halloween. Ashes to Ashes. Uh, yes, so does anyone remember an old Let's Play I did? called, um, what was it? Zombie Baseball. That was what it was called. Uh, yeah, this is another game similar to that. This is a Flash game similar to that, uh, where instead of it being Zombie Baseball, it's Zombie Cricket. Yeah, so now you're going up against armoured people with different bits of armour. Some of them jump, some of them fly even. And you got to use your cricket bat to smack the hell out of them. It's England versus Australia, but this time on the undead field. And England's there to try and defend itself from the Aussie zombie invasion. All right, guys. Well, that is all of the games that will be Let's Played in 2024 here at the Master of Gaming's Wheel of Let's Plays. Obviously, again, card, schedule, subject to change. It could be the case that this that some of these games may not be let's play until the start of 2025. Who knows? There is also another quite good thing which will be happening next uh, next year, but we will be talking more about that when we get closer to that. So stay tuned. Well, that's it from this video, folks. Hope you all enjoyed it. What games are you looking forward to me let's playing uh, in the future and next year, in fact? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm Astrath, and I'll see you for more Temtem tomorrow. I'll see you then.